black length discrepancy. Hi, this is Ina Zhang. Here is the same introduction of me, so if you want to skip it, skip it. About a minute. I am an ankle bone alignment specialist and pedorthist. I am going to talk everything about the foot, the cause of the foot deformities and pain and how to get rid of that cause and how the foot is affecting the alignment of the entire body structure. Here's my short background. I majored in physical therapy. However, I became a Disney animator. Yes, for Disney and worked on 15 movies. You can Google my name and see all the movies I had worked on. Animators know how to analyze movement with weight and ground reaction force, which the foot has to handle every day. And also, animators catch every subtle movement in order to draw out natural movement for the big screen. With that skill, I found out subtle movement in the joint I am going to talk about. And also, I analyze foot structure and its mechanics from the animator's viewpoint. So it's quite different from the other sources, and it's going to be easy to understand and make sense. So let's start. Hi, this is Ina John, Pedorthist. Today, let's talk about the leg length discrepancy. When we are standing, both leg length should be the same. Then we can walk without limping but most people have one leg shorter than the other. So they are all limping. Most likely you too. So you are limping too. Did you know that? Or you already knew your one leg shorter than the other and think this is normal. Limping body cannot function properly and has to compensate all the time, which is not good. And quite a lot of people don't realize they are limping even though it's so obvious to other people. Then why do most people have one leg shorter than the other? Here we go again. It all starts both tussle joint falling differently and tilting the ankle bones differently. Then is there a way to make both leg length the same? Yes. Let's take a close look for easy understanding. When we measure the leg length, we measure from the ground all the way up to the top of the hip bone. So the total leg length is the foot height, which is from the ground to the top of the ankle bone, plus the leg bone length, plus the thigh bone length, and plus the hip bone height. The ankle bone is part of the tussle joint here on top of the foot. And this tussle joint is a group of small joints, as you can see here. And it involves 12 foot bones, 7 tussle bones, and 5 metatussle bones. And this tussle joint forms the arch. This tussle joint has very tiny, about 1 to 2 millimeter of up and down motion like this. From side, it only should move this much. This is it. As long as this tussle joint stays within this range of motion, the ankle bone stays in alignment. And each step we make, our entire body weight has to pass through this tussle joint because the other foot passing through the air doesn't carry any body weight. And when we were walking on the soft soil with the bare foot, the soft soil feel the arch so the tussle joint couldn't fall. But on this flat surface, if we don't use the correct orthotics, the tussle joint definitely falls by our own body weight out of this tiny range of motion and misaligns the entire foot bones, including the ankle bone. And as you can see, the fallen tussle joint lowers the ankle bone. So foot height gets shorter. And also when tussle joint falls, the ankle bone tilts too. So on tilted ankle bone, systematically, leg bone, thigh bone, and hip bones all stand and sit without the alignment. And we all know that the height of the same length gets shorter when it stands without the alignment than when it stands with alignment. 
So all these bones standing without the alignment makes the total leg length much shorter than the actual height the tassel joint fell. This is how just a couple millimeters falling of the tassel joint can shorten the total leg length by a half inch to a couple of inches. And usually both tassel joints fall differently, tilting both ankle bones differently. The leg stands on the more fallen tassel joint gets shorter than the other foot with less fallen tassel joint. This is the reason why your one leg is shorter than the other. And without the proper orthotics, this tassel joint keeps falling with each step. The foot getting bigger and bigger is the proof of the tassel joint keeps falling. So we lose height as we get older. And then how do we make both leg length the same properly so we can walk without limping? And some people use the heel lift under the heel of the shoulder leg like this, but this gives the tussle joint more room to fall down, so can cause more problems to the foot structure, so to the entire body structure. So you don't want to do this, no. To make both leg length the same properly, we need to use the correct orthotics that realigning both ankle bones at the same height. Then both legs can stand with alignment. Then systematically, the thigh bone can stand with alignment, so the hip bones can sit with alignment. So your both leg length become the same. And some people notice that they got taller after lining their ankle bones at the same height because they are getting their heights back. And there are few people with literally different leg or thigh bone length. In that case, after lining both ankle bones at the same height with the correct orthotics, then add the proper thickness of the heel lift under the heel of the shorter leg. Or lift the whole shoe bottom with correct thickness. On the aligned ankle bones, body can finally function properly and doesn't have to compensate. So the body becomes stronger instantly after you align your ankle bones. And our body can do many things we couldn't do. The standing with alignment from the feet up is one of them. And we can lift heavy weight with any posture without compensating. Here is the demonstration. Without the orthotics, my right leg is shorter, but not really bad because I've been using orthotics for the last 20 years. So my foot ligaments became stronger. Now with orthotics, my leg length became the same. Again, without the orthotics, can you see my hip bones switching the position? One more time with the orthotics, my hip bones aligned. And we need to verify with ankle bone alignment test by lifting a weight without using the core muscles or the belly muscles. It's 11 pounds, heavy, but I can lift. But if I use my core muscles, the weight becomes heavier. Again, relax the core muscles and just use the arm muscles. I can lift easily. Now I am standing with orthotics again and when you look carefully it looks like my right leg still looks slightly shorter. So I am going to add about one millimeter of thickness under the right orthotics. And now my leg length looks even better. But I need to check with ankle bone alignment test. I cannot lift. That means no. You don't want to put this one millimeter lift. Also, kneecap height tells which leg is shorter. Bend your body forward and using your index fingers, press up against at the bottom of the kneecap. You can see my right kneecap is lower because my right leg is shorter and when I go up on the orthotics 
my kneecap height becomes same. I'm going to go down one more time. See, it shifted. It, my right kneecap went down. And go up again. It became the same. Interesting. But this is simple physics. Just one thing to remember is with the correct orthotics, we need to walk correctly by putting the body weight straight down on the ankle bone, not like this, to the lateral side. Today I talked about the leg length discrepancy. Most people have one leg shorter than the other because both tussle joints usually fall differently and a body with one leg shorter than the other limbs and cannot function properly and has to compensate all the time. But we can make our leg length the same with proper orthotics that we align both fallen tussle joints back to the point of aligning ankle bones at the same height. Then we can walk without limping. An ankle bone alignment test can verify if the orthotics are really aligning both ankle bones at the same height. And after that, all you need to do is walk correctly by putting your weight straight down onto the ankle bone. And you can watch my another YouTube about ankle bone alignment test and how to walk correctly. Bye for now. I publish a couple books with many drawings for easy understanding. You can check them out on Amazon. Align both ankle bones at the same height so that the lame may not be disabled but rather be healed Hebrew 12 13 it was about leg length discrepancy